Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Dr. Janine Show. I'm so happy to have you here today. Hey, it was back to school for a lot of us today. How many happy moms and dads are out there? Yeah, exciting day for a lot of us. Yeah, and it's going to be a great show, so thank you for tuning in. I've got so much new and fantastic information for you. Guess where I'm starting? We will be coming back here to the beauty set, and we're talking about face taping. So we, yes, we will be taping our face again. We're talking about the jowls today and what we can do instead of Botox, which is amazing. We're talking about toxins in the homes. We're talking candles as well and some of those really nasty things that go into home candles. We're also continuing the conversation on what to look for in your vitamins. And this is one of those toxic ingredients, titanium dioxide, why this bad boy is not something that you should be ingesting. So we're going to come back to that. Please say hello, everyone. It's so great to have you all here. And let me know where you're from. I love it when we have everybody here and who's live. And I want you to please let me know where you're from. Thank you for all the new followers that are here and that have chimed in over the last week, which was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's so great to have you here. Good morning, Lorena. Nice to see you. Thank you for tuning in. It's so great to have you here. And Rajbindra in Toronto. Hello, nice to have you here as well. And Arlan is here from Afghanistan. Hello, hello. Oakland, California is in the house. Yvonne, nice to see you. Monzi in Barbados, good to see you. Someone from Texas says hello. Sunny Key, hello, hello. Great to have you here. So as you know, now if you're here for the first time and all of my followers who have been here for a number of shows, this is a fun and interactive show. We're gonna go through different topics of natural health. We're focusing on detoxification today. We've gotta to get those toxins out of our bodies, out of our homes, which is not something that I've talked a lot about. So this is really important, as well as it's very interactive. So we do have quiz questions coming up. You have the ability to win a prize from our great sponsors at Vitatree. So stay tuned for all our quiz questions, okay? They come out throughout the show. Is everybody ready to go? All right, let's get going. All right, so I'm glad to have you all here is such a lovely day back to school so many happy parents and students out there as well and if you're in school today i hope that you are pay attention paying attention but pay attention to the show as well because there's a lot to learn okay let's talk about some of these household toxins that we've got so for people that are still using things like this in their home and there are others as well we will be talking about some of the symptoms of toxicity. So how do you know that these things are actually affecting you, whether you thought about it before or not? Let's go through some of these common household toxins. Okay, now there are nine that we're gonna talk about and number nine is probably the most lethal. So stay tuned for that. Okay, number one, who uses aluminum foil? I think we all do. I mean, I do as well. I'm not sure it's something that I'm going to give up. And that's why detoxification is so important, which is what we're going to get to. But if you're using aluminum foil, it's something that can be ingested now in trace amounts in your food. Even when you're touching it, it's not the best thing. But that is one of the hidden sources of toxins in the home. Okay, number two is laundry soap and softeners. That's why, of course, a few weeks ago, I shared my natural laundry soap recipe. So I hope you got that. It may be something that we can pull up at the end of the show if you have missed it, but it's something you can reference on the channel. This is something that you definitely want to be avoiding, as well as number three on the list is candles and air fresheners. So here's the problem with conventional candles. We're going to go into the details of this and how and why this is so toxic in your home. And of course, my tips, something that's going to help with an alternative. Okay, number four, cleaning products. So we know that cleaning products can be toxic. It's something that we definitely want to do our best to avoid toxic things in the home. Thank you for being here today, everyone. Thank you for sharing. So please share. That's what makes this so much more fun when we share and we've got all our friends here. So share with 10 people right now. If you can do that, just click that share. It's an amazing thing that you can do and share this great natural health information with your friends. Thanks for all my new followers as well. So great to have you here. And thanks for all the love. I see, oh my goodness, all of the I love yous and the hearts and all these things that come in through the show, which is amazing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's continue the list. And remember, nine is the most lethal, so stay tuned for that. Okay, dishwasher soap. So if you've got these little pod things happening in your home, I know that this is, and what the research now shows, that this actually causes leaky gut syndrome. So it can punch little holes in your gut. Let's go to Lucy really quickly. 
because your gut is very sensitive to these things. So by using this, can punch those little holes in the intestinals, causing leaky gut. This is a big problem. So it's one of, again one of those things that you want to definitely go more natural when you're getting you know these things in your home. Now let's go to number six. Carpets. Yeah, so carpets hold a lot of toxins. So if you're that person who, you know, thinks that carpets are great, I think we phase them out in terms of home decorating a lot, but carpets hold on to a lot of toxins. And the toxins themselves in the carpets are terrible for your health. They put a lot of flame retardants in here. And these are often things like heavy metals, antimony. Some people's, I used to say antimony. I don't know, how do you pronounce it? Antimony, you can't tell me in the comments because it's spelled the same. But yes, that antimony is a toxic thing that's found in carpets. Okay, number seven, your furniture. Your furniture, yes, again, it's treated with things to make them flame retardant, can have a lot of toxins. And number eight, is your mattress. So your mattress definitely is one of those things that can have a lot of these toxins. The flame retardants, again, those heavy metals and other things like formaldehyde and things as well. And number nine, our most lethal, mold. So mold in the home is one of those things that we definitely want to make sure that we're aware of. Some of it you can see, like the black mold, some of it you cannot see. So if you've had any type of water damage, leakage in your home, this is something that definitely needs to be taken care of in a natural way because there are toxic ways to actually deal with mold. Like bleach is one of the worst things you can do to mold. It makes all those spores go wild in your home. So that's one of the things that you need to be aware of. And okay. Let's see if we can beat last week's share. So last week we had some amazing milestones during the show and of course we're live every Tuesday at this time zone. So last week we hit that milestone. Let's see if we can get up over the 100 and I believe 20 mark in terms of shares today. Please let's do it. Share, share, share. If you haven't already shared with 10 people and even if you have, share with 10 more people right now. That's what makes it so much fun to see those numbers spike and Eventually, Dr. Janine is going to get prizes herself when we hit certain milestones. So yeah, let's do that for Dr. Janine. Okay, it's great to have you all here. Thank you for tuning in today. We're talking detox. We're focusing in on how to get those toxins out of your body. And here's one of the things. Let's talk about the candle really quickly. So that candle is something that a lot of people burn candles in their homes. And there's different problems here. So let's go through them. Most of them are made of paraffin. Now paraffin, of course, is from the petrochemical industry. And it is a petroleum byproduct and has been proven to be carcinogenic. It releases volatile organic compounds. These VOCs are carbon compounds that easily turn into gas at room temperature. And when you breathe in these VOCs, it can give you a number of symptoms. So let's go through them really quickly. Now, of course, it could affect the eyes. So you could have irritation. There could be redness in your eyes because you're burning your candles. This could be your kids as well and even your pets. So please, please be aware of all of these things as well as nose and throat irritation. So maybe you've got the sniffles, maybe you're sneezing, maybe you're coughing even because it, help, it does affect the lungs as well and breathing problems, even nausea, liver problems, even damaging. All right, great to have you all here. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Please let me know where you're from. Does anybody have any of these symptoms? Yeah, and this is something, how many of you have candles in your homes? Please put a one in the comments because I'm really curious whether you think they're non-toxic and pretty and they smell so nice or not, put a one in the comments if you have candles in your home and maybe I'm gonna change your mind about you know that decision today. Okay, also it can cause, of course, nervous system issues. And when we're talking about our nervous system, this is so important that our other organs the internal organs can be affected by those volatile organic compounds. Now the synthetic fragrances that can be in your candles as well are a big problem. They contain phthalates and those phthalates can be inhaled or even absorbed through the skin. So those phthalates, we hear about it of course in other products that are starting to now not use phthalates in you know, beauty products and things, but they're in those candles. And when they enter the bloodstream, the phthalates exasperate your allergic symptoms. You can't breathe as well. If anybody in your home has asthma, even your pets, that could be one of the reasons why. The other thing is that the candles actually release, whether they're natural or not, small particulate matter. 
So this is something that we have to be aware of and do our best to get those toxins out of our home. Now in one study, and this is a recent study, because if you read online, they're gonna say, oh no, there's no problem with candles. But this is a recent study. And this is, I believe, from just a few months ago. And in this study, this was in, done in Saudi Arabia, and they found that a quarter, so 24.8% of the people that were using candles in their homes had symptoms. That's a huge amount. So people reported, and these were young, healthy university students, reported these symptoms that we're talking about just from using candles. So this is really important. Now, of course, there are different types of candles. There is paraffin is the most commonly one, found one. You may find soy-based candles as well. Probably a little bit better, but not as good as the tip that I'm gonna be sharing with you. So this is something that you definitely wanna be aware of because those soy-based candles are also partially hydrogenated and it's not the healthiest thing to be in the air. Okay, now let's talk about how do we get these toxins out of our body. I'm gonna have the full body detox tips, but I'm also going to share, how do you know that you're toxic? What is your body telling you? We're gonna go back to Lucy in just a second with those symptoms of toxicity. But here's the thing. Here's my tip in terms of what you can do instead of using those candles is to find a beeswax candle. So beeswax, of course, are natural, and you're gonna use that in a well-ventilated area. So you're not gonna use it in a closed space because remember there's that fine particulate matter, and always doing that full body detox is going to be important if you love your candles, whether they're the natural ones like the beeswax or not. Okay, so I hope that helps you. Thank you for being here today. And how many ones did I see in the comments? There's so many people who, yes, they love to burn their candles, which is amazing. Now, don't forget, we are going to do our quiz questions. We're already at quiz question number one. Wow, this is today's show. Show is flying, all right, here we go. We are playing, so if you're new and you're here for the first time, or if you've been here for a long time, you know that we play for a different prize every week. I'm gonna congratulate last week's winner in just a few moments, but today we are playing for the Vita Detox from our great sponsors at Vita Tree. They make this show possible and they support this channel. And thank you for supporting the channel as well. Thank you for sharing today and thank you for all my new followers. I mean, it's crazy what's happening behind the scenes, which is amazing. Okay, everyone, this is what you're playing for. All you have to do is answer those questions as well as you can. You don't even need to get it correct, but just do your best. Okay, here we go. Quiz question number one. You're going to have 30 seconds. Once you see that question, name two sources of toxins in your home. Get your answers in now. Okay, you got 30 seconds. Let's go. My day is going great. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you for asking. Hello, Ben, nice to see you. Okay, get your answers in, everybody. All right, all right. Remember, we're playing for the Vita Detox today. Two sources of toxins in your home. I see a lot of great answers here. All right, and please share today's live. Thank you for sharing. Okay, three, two, and one. Did everybody get their answers in? All right, so some of the toxins, and I saw mostly, mostly correct answers there. Yes, cleaning supplies, aluminum foil, laundry soap, candles, air fresheners, as well as dishwasher soap was one as well. Carpets, furniture, mattress, and I know a lot of you put mold. Um, and yes, I saw that in, which is amazing. So Rainer, good job. You got both of those in. Yeah, congratulations. Okay, there's two more quiz questions coming up. Keep paying attention because you may be last week's winner. And who was last week's winner? It of the Vita Tree tumor curcumin. It was Marina Reed. Hello and congratulations, Marina. All right, good job, good job. Now please make sure that you are following Team Dr. Jane I so that if you are our lucky winner that we can reach you and the team can reach you. All right, let's go. Symptoms of toxicity. So how do you actually know that you've got this toxic accumulation in your body. It's something that I talk a lot about on television. I covered it a lot. I was on television for three days last week. And it's an amazing topic because a lot of people don't realize that their symptoms are related to that internal toxicity. Now we will be going to the kitchen today, which I haven't yet mentioned. We're gonna be making a special type of water that helps with hydration and it involves salt. Okay, so you wanna stay tuned for that recipe. It's really, really important. It helps with detoxing your body as well. Okay. We're gonna go through seven 
different symptoms of toxicity in the body. Number seven is kind of a weird one that you wouldn't expect, so make sure that you are holding on till then. Okay, number one, of course, is lack of energy. So did you ever think of this? You put this on in the morning, could be robbing you of your energy. Did you ever think of that? This, these are the things that I want to plant those seeds so you start thinking about, okay, I wonder why I'm so tired all the time. Well, toxicity is one of those things. Maybe this is one of those toxins in your home that is contributing. Maybe you like to drink from soda cans. Maybe you're using the aluminum foil. Maybe you know, you're washing the dishes with something a little bit toxic. Just I want you to be thinking about these things as we're talking. Okay, number two, headaches. Are you getting headaches? Well, yeah, that can be related to that toxicity, often related to our liver and our kidney health. Where's the liver? Can I have my bad liver? Throw it to me, throw it to me, yes, all right. Yeah, so bad, bad liver function can cause headaches, especially if you're constipated as well. And I know we've got poop here somewhere. Okay, poop is coming. Poop is coming in just a second. So this is a problem in terms of that toxicity. Okay, poop incoming, incoming poop. All right, here we go, trade off a bad liver. Thank you. So if you're constipated, that can cause the headaches as well. That internal toxicity is building up. It's something that we definitely want to be aware of. I promise we'll come back to this. Can I pass that off? Okay, there we go. Number three. Skin rashes, so if you are someone or someone that you know has eczema, psoriasis, hives, the kids as well, related to that internal toxicity. As well as, number four, sore throat. So if you're prone to sore throats, can be related to that, that toxicity. Remember we just talked about the candles and all of those toxins that are going into the air if you burn candles in your home. Okay, number five, Gas and bloating can be related. So digestive complaints, as that's related to internal toxicity. Number six, joint pain. So did you know that your joints have a lot? Can you pass me the knee joint really quick? Let's go over here. So if you are prone to having issues with your joints and having a lot of pain in the joints, this is your knee joint. It could be any type of chronic pain that can be related to toxicity and doing that full body detox is something that is really important. Okay, and number seven, cravings for sweets. So I told you this one was a little bit weird. If you crave sweets all the time, that can be related to that internal toxicity. So this is something that I definitely want you to be aware of and making sure if you want to screenshot that really quickly so you got all of your symptoms of toxicity. More importantly, we'll be talking a little bit about what we can do about that toxicity in just a minute. Okay, we got it? All right, let's go. Okay, so I want to say thank you. So every week that we're here and in between shows, I have so many super fans that share great, you know, um, the videos and they you share and you also do no, donate money to the channel. So I thank all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We couldn't do it without all of your support and love throughout the week. So thank you so much to all of our super fans. Okay, now let's talk about how do we get those toxins out of the body and doing that full body detox is something that we're going to talk about. So six tips for that full body detox, we will be talking about titanium dioxide, and that's something that's super toxic found in a lot of supplements, something that you definitely want to avoid, so we're gonna to come to that in just a second. Okay, tip number one, are we ready? Spending time in nature, this is one of the best things that you can do to get those toxins out of your body, making sure that you're barefoot, you're grounding, of course that's going to bring the electrons from the earth into your body, helping to balance out that toxicity, helps to detox those organs, and of course being in nature helps your microbiome, so this is really important for your immunity as well. Number two, following a whole food diet, so eating real food. Just makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> We're eating the phytonutrients and things that we need from our diet and a mineral rich diet is really important as well. So that's important for detoxing, especially those heavy metals. Number three, drinking water. So yes, drinking enough water is gonna be so important for you and I have my salt water recipe coming up. So stay tuned for that because that's a game changer in terms of detox but also keeping you super hydrated because a lot of people drink water and they're not necessarily keeping it in their body. So that's really important. Okay, number four, 
herbal medicines or our specific herbal medicines, this is something that I do every season, is that full body detox, things like milk thistle regenerates healthy liver cells, as well as getting at all of that internal toxicity. So when we talk about lung toxicity, we talk about our GI tract toxicity, we talk about liver toxicity, we talk about skin toxicity, you've got, you know, maybe the eczema, the psoriasis. It's so important that we're detoxing. Thank you for sharing. So please share right now. I want you to share with at least 10 people. We're trying to hit a milestone that we got last to last week, over 100 shares. So thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you that are here and a part of this show today. And like and, you know, continue sending in all of those, uh, those hearts, which is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please put a one in the comments if you have done a detox before. I'm super curious because you know that I, yes, thank you for all the shares and the follows. Lori, thank you for following. Thanks for being here for the first time. And Lily, thank you for sharing today's live it's great that you're here and thank you thank you thank you yes people have done detoxes love 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 this continue to share I'll call you out if I see you really quickly thank you Kiwu Q or something with an at sign in there I think that's what it said thank you so much and yes you love to detox okay awesome as well as number four on the list for that full body detox, you gotta have enough fiber. So you need something to bind those toxins that you're getting rid of. So fiber in the diet is really important or in a supplement. And number six is a foot detox. So isn't that great? I put a two in the comments if you've ever tried a foot detox before. I have a specific one that I do. I do it for my kids as well. It's amazing to pull those toxins out. And it's one of those things that you can do, if, especially if you don't wanna be ingesting things this way for whatever reason. Some people like to ease their way into detoxing by doing that foot detox. And that's something that's actually in a future show, something we, let's make a note of that. We're gonna share my foot doc, detox recipe in a future show. Okay, awesome. We're going to the kitchen. We're going to the kitchen. Yay. All right. Everybody ready to go to the kitchen? Yes. Okay. Let's go over here. Gracie, you put a two in the comments. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And isn't this going to be fun? Okay. So this is one of those things. Doing that salt water recipe is one of the most important things that you can do in terms of keeping your body hydrated. Because when we drink water, we're not necessarily, I'm going to need my water glass too, please. Thank you. When we drink water, we aren't necessarily keeping it in our cells and in our, you know, ability to keep us hydrated. We need to often add in some salt. So this is making salt water. It's a 0.9%. It's called Soleil water. If you've seen it before online or if this is new to you, please put a one in the comments because I'm curious, again, if anybody has heard about this. So if you've never heard about Soleil water, put a one in the comments, okay? How many people are hearing this for the first time? Because I love educating everybody. Thank you for the shares, guys. Thank you. Okay, Tammy, Jerry, yes, yeah, Soleil Water. So this is, and it's S-O-L-E, but you pronounce it Soleil like the sun, I guess, okay? So here we go. So this is a salt water recipe. We will show you the recipe card in just a few moments so that it, you don't have to jot this down right now. You, you'll be able to screenshot it, or if you do want to jot it down, I know in some platforms you can't screenshot. Okay, so all you're gonna do is get a mason jar, one liter mason jar, fill it with the best quality water that you can find. So I like reverse osmosis. That's the system that we have at home. If you have spring water, that's a great thing as well. Just make sure that it's low in fluoride. And ideally it's from a higher place up in the mountain so glacial water is great. Something high in the mountains that actually is now energized. If you've seen my videos on structured water and why that's important, energized by the sun and the motion and the vortexing, really important. And if you want to learn more about that, just let me know. Say yes, 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 vortexing water. You want to learn about it? It's something that we can feature in a show, but I do have some videos on that. Okay, so I've got my good water in my mason jar. You need a liter because the recipe is quite important. Now I have two teaspoons that we've already pre-measured out here of sea salt, okay? And sea salt is loaded with minerals and that's why it's so hydrating because your minerals, not only do they detox some of those heavy metals like the aluminum foil and the mercury and all these things in your life, but it's one thing that you definitely want to make sure that you've got all of those trace minerals. You can see the color. I hope that's clear for you that the type of salt that I use is fantastic for that, okay? So then we are, and I do have a video coming out on different types of salt, so stay tuned for that. So there we go. Then you're just gonna mix that in. Stir, stir, stir. So you could shake this as well, but I like to stir because part of structuring water is to actually stir it so that it forms a vortex, which is amazing. So again, if you're just tuning in right now, we're doing Soleil. This is Soleil water. This is sea salt water. 
And I'm gonna show you that recipe. It's quite loud, isn't it? Okay, there we go. And thank you for sharing. So please share today's live. Thank you for following. All my new followers are here. And thanks for all the likes and all that love that's coming in right now. I can see all of that in the comments. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna share in a few, I'm not gonna tell you what type of salt. I know everybody's asking what type of salt to use. I'm gonna share that in a future post. I'm, po I'm actually filming that this week. So it's gonna be posted very soon. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're following so that you can see my salt breakdown and, and what I prefer. Okay, so you know that it's saturated. So if we let this sit now, you'll know that it's hit a saturation point if we can see a bit of the salt on the bottom of the jar, which is, do you see that it's accumulating on the bottom of the jar? So I know that I've got enough in there. If you haven't reached a saturation point, then either your ratio, you don't have enough water, you have too much water probably, not enough salt. So getting that ratio correct is properly. now. I've already drank most of my water. Um, okay, so imagine this is my full glass of water. All you're gonna do is take a teaspoon, or a little bit less, so depending, there we go. A little teaspoon of your Soleil water in your drinking water every time you drink. Now this will stay, I like to keep mine three to four days on my windowsill. I, again, I like to structure my water so the my natural, you know, the windows open, natural sunlight, structuring the water, great. If you don't wanna do that, you don't have to, but I suggest that you do if you have a window, you know, that you can put your water in. And remember, always in glass. And then you're gonna keep this in the fridge as well if you want to. I keep it on the windowsill. It'll be good up to a week or so. Um, some people say less, but yeah. I like it for about a week on, on the windowsill. And you just, every time you drink, you're gonna put a, a spoonful. And ideally, you don't really taste the salt because it's at that perfect dilution, the 0.9%, much like sea salt. Now you can use, there are other uses of this, that's for a future show, but today we're just focusing in on the Soleil water. Now this is, if you have frequent urination, that is an indication. Are we going over here now? So we're gonna screenshot that recipe really quickly. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you love that. But if you have frequent urination, so you drink your water, or maybe you don't even think that you're drinking excessively, that's one of those things that could be an indication that you don't have enough proper hydration because you don't have enough of those minerals and your salt. So this is why the Soleil water, the salt water recipe is something that I want you to try it's a game changer for your health, for your kidney health, for your skin. It helps to detox as well. Gives you those extra minerals. Fantastic for your for your thyroid gland. And that is something that that's how I actually learned this in my training um, that I did a course, you know, in extracurricular. I'm always learning, as you know, and taking courses and things in terms of thyroid health. This is one of the things that is definitely recommended. Okay, so here we go. Your two teaspoons of salt water, and yeah, you can see where I like it from, from Utah, and a liter of that water in your mason jar, and then you just stir it, let it dissolve, and you're gonna take a teaspoon of that every time that you drink, just add it to your drinking water, okay? I hope you love that. There you go, that's what it looks like, and then again, you can see at the bottom have this, there's a little bit of salt saturation in the bottom of the jar, can, is that visible? Yeah, we can see it? Okay, awesome, there you go. Thank you so much. Okay, are we already at, we're at quiz question number two, guys. All right, thank you for everyone who's tuning in, thank you for sharing today's live. I know so you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. It's Juhara. Thank you for sharing. If you can share with five people right now, please share with your friends. Let them tune in. Let them be part of the fun. We are at quiz question number two. In this, today's show, we actually have three quiz questions. So here's quiz question number two. And you can win a prize. So we send this out to you. And this is the Vita Detox, okay? The, from our great sponsors at Vita Tree. We thank them for making this show possible in the first place. Such great supporters of the Dr. Janine Show. Are we ready? Okay. This is from last week. This is a little bit tricky. So if you're here for the first time, you may not know this, but just do your best. Just put something in the comments, okay? Here we go. What is the name of the magnesium that is not a magnesium supplement? It's something that we talked about last week, one of those things that you would definitely want to be avoiding in terms of supplements, and it's labeled magnesium something. But what is it? Okay, you got 30 seconds. Let's start the clock now. Let's go. Thank you. Good job. Wow, some people are really paying attention. This is amazing. Good job, everyone. Thank you for sharing in Vancouver. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's awesome. Thanks for the new follows as well. Unstable One, thank you for following. Thank you, Carmen, and thank you for sharing. I see so many of you are sharing. Thank you for all the hearts and the love that's coming in. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, three, two, and one. I'm talking too much, here we go. 
What is the name of that type of magnesium? That's not a magnesium supplement. It is magnesium stearate. Yes, magnesium stearate. So congratulations. I know a lot of you got it right. And that is that flow agent, of course, that we talked about that you need to be avoiding in your supplements. Make sure that your supplements do not contain that magnesium stearate. Okay, so now we're talking titanium dioxide, okay? So this, similarly, not a good thing to be ingesting in. It is in a lot of supplements in North America. Now, it's, and we will be going, don't worry, I know everybody's waiting. Okay, I know she said something about face taping. Yes, we are going to face taping in the beauty set in just a second, so stay tuned for that. We're going to be talking about the jowls today. I've got a great technique for that with face taping, okay, so stay tuned for that. Now, we know that titanium dioxide, they're supposed to use less than 1% in formulation, so whether that's foods or in supplementation, and it is white, it's a white powder, and it helps to scatter light, and it also protects products from UV, so that's one of the interesting things about that titanium dioxide. It helps to make things look really white as well, so think about supplements, white tablets and things, and powders, makes them look really white. Now, animal studies have found that titanium dioxide could be carcinogenic and affects our immune system, but also, let's come back to Lucy for a second, our digestive tract in a negative way. And the European Food Safety Agency, the EFSA, which is kind of like the FDA of Europe, concluded that titanium dioxide is not considered safe for use as a food additive or a supplement additive. So, in Europe. So France was the first country to get rid of it, banned it over two years ago. Now the entire European Union has gotten rid of titanium dioxide. So if you want to screenshot that really quickly, it's also known as E171. That's the chemical classification of titanium dioxide. It may be in the supplements that you're taking, and I don't want you ingesting this stuff. Think about it, it's banned in other countries. We should not be ingesting that. So please take a look of the, at that. And it is and has potential bad effects for your health, okay? So that's really important, potentially carcinogenic. Now, we know that the E171 titanium dioxide is something that damages DNA, so it's called genotoxicity, and it can be a nanoparticle, so <clears throat> very, very small particles, and that if it's inhaled, and this is how the original research on titanium dioxide, they thought, and they found that there was a direct link with lung cancer with inhaling titanium dioxide. So scary stuff. So this is something that we definitely want to avoid. So my tip here, of course, is find supplements that do not contain titanium dioxide. And really, supplements shouldn't have any fillers or flow agents. That's something that you definitely want to be looking for. Okay, let's share our viewer spotlight. So every week we share some great news from one of our viewers. I love you all, and thank you. If I didn't call you out, I apologize. I cannot. And thank you, Re. Re yeah, Rhiannon, thank you for sharing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's, uh, and Becca, thank you for sharing today's live. It's difficult for me to call everybody out and thank you. It's, it's important that, and yes, a lot of questions about, yeah, some countries just simply don't care of the fact that we use these chemical things in our supplements, right? So this is something, so I want to, I'll be aware of that. Okay, Andrea, thank you so much. You are our viewer spotlight, learning so much from this channel. Keep the amazing tips coming. Thank you so much, Dr. Janine. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Andrea. Awesome, awesome feedback. And maybe you will be our viewer spotlight next week, so continue to share all the love and the great comments on all of the content that we put out, you know, week to week. So every day we're uploading a ton of content. So make sure you're checking it all out and share the love and share, share the videos and do all that fun stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to talk about a great exercise for detoxification. So this is something that is important to move our lymphatics. And we have another quiz question coming up very soon. So stay tuned for that because there's still a chance to win. We have one more quiz question coming. Okay. So this is great in terms of moving our lymphatics. And of course, if we look at our lymphatic chain, I don't know if we can pull that up really quickly, is something that if we're not exercising, that lymph is not moving on its own. So it's something that we definitely need to help our lymphatics along with. So this exercise is really important. And this is something that I like to do first thing in the morning, and it's just little jumps, okay? So everybody, I hope you, everybody can stand up right now if you're not driving or sitting in, in class or something. 
So you don't even need to leave the ground, but all you do is little jumps. So you just kind of go up on your toes like this. I know I look goofy right now. If anybody's just tuning in, I'm Dr. Janine. Nice to see you. I'm talking about moving your lymph, but you can just do little arm circles, move your lymph. It's one of the best things that you can do. Okay, yes, I have some people here at the show behind the scenes doing that, but it, you don't have to do it for long. Just get things moving, and that's really great for breast health if you've got cold or flu. And are you sweating? You're sweating, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's sweating behind the scenes. Okay, here we go. And just do that just even for, you know, 30 seconds first thing in the morning, just before you brush your teeth or when you're brushing your teeth. Well, I guess you need one hand to brush your teeth. But there you go. Fantastic exercise for detox, which is so important to get that lymph moving and get those toxins moving, along with doing that full body detox, really important. Okay, we're going to the beauty set. Woohoo! All right. This is always my favorite part of the show. Nice to see you all here. Thank you for tuning in. Now let's talk about face taping. So we've talked about this in previous episodes, and this is all about taping your face. And in this case, we're talking about face taping instead of Botox for the jowls. So for Botox, for anybody who has that, it's a toxin, right? We're talking about detoxing today. So of course, doing things naturally is my approach to beauty, of course. And if you've got lines and wrinkles and jowls, it doesn't matter. But if you're at all, you know, wanting to slow down that process or maybe see some positive effect, it's totally up to you. It's, you know, your beauty is yours and we're all beautiful, of course. But this is my little tip if you're at all concerned about this, is now to use the face tape much like the Botox. And what it does is anything that is touching your skin is going to have a relaxing effect. It's like a reflex, a relaxing effect on the muscles beneath. Now, if we look at the muscles that are related to that jawline, we're gonna see here the mentalis and our depressor anguli oris. So that's what brings the sides of the lips down and the corner of the mouth down, depressor anguli oris. So this is what we're going to be targeting. This muscle here, which of course can bring the, the lips down and make those jowls look worse. And of course the marionette lines and the mentalis. And so we want to maintain that, you know, snatch, they call it on TikTok and things, the snatch jawline. This is what we're going to do. Okay. So you're going to get your K tape. This is kinesiology tape. Your first piece is just gonna go on that mentalis muscle. So just above that mentalis muscle, this is, again, I like to do this at bedtime on fresh, clean skin, and you're just going to relax right there. And just relax and concentrate on relaxing that musculature, okay? Now the next one is going, is everybody loving this? Yeah, you're loving this. K-tape, it's called K-tape. Now the next one is a smaller piece and you're just gonna put it here. And ideally, you know, you stop talking, but I have to keep talking. You just press it onto your skin. There we go. And then the last one, you are going, and you always do a patch test. So the day before, if you're new to the K-tape, which you can buy online, it's called kinesiology tape that they use, the athletes use it. You may have seen it if you're watching the tennis right now, the US Open, you can already see that. I have restricted motion in my lower jaw because the tape is there. It really does, it's like Botox. I don't know, I've never had Botox, but I, I'm told that it just, it kind of shuts down the musculature that you have less facial expressions and that's how the wrinkles go away. Okay, then the last one you're gonna put here on the lower jaw, just like that. And then you go to bed and you, you let that sleep. Now, if you want to do this during the day, you can certainly do that as well, but it shuts down that musculature. Now, by relaxing these muscles, it all actually has a lifting effect because now you're not overusing these muscles in the lower jaw, and that will help to get that tighter jawline. Okay, I hope everybody's loving that. Does everybody love K-tape? Yes, put a one in the comments if you love K-tape. If you've tried some of my other things with K-tape, if you're just tuning in right now, this is face taping instead of Botox for those jowls. So if you're looking for that snatched jawline, this is one of the things that you can do. Thank you for sharing. So please share right now. Share with 10 people. If you've got 10 people on your um, people that you follow or don't follow, whatever, share with 10 people right now. Maybe they want to learn about this face taping, which is amazing. We do have one more quiz question coming up and I'm also going to tell you what we're going to be talking about next week as well in next week's show still lots of show left but this is your Botox 
for your jowls without the Botox. This is an all natural face taping. Again, get that K tape. You can purchase it online in the pharmacy as well. If you're watching the tennis, you may have seen some of the athletes right now, the tennis players, they've got it over their shoulders, sometimes wrapped around their legs, their knees, their calves, wherever. But it really does have an amazing effect at relaxing those muscles, much like Botox does, but without, you know, having any of those negative side effects. Remember, we're talking detox today, and this is all about how to detox your body, get those toxins out of your body. We don't want to be adding more in, even if it's for beauty reasons. Okay, there we go. Everybody love that? Yes, all right. Thank you for all the ones that are coming in. Thank you for the hearts, Gracie. I see that. Thank you. That's awesome. Should I leave this on? Okay, I'll leave it on for just a few more seconds. We are at quiz question number three. Woo, woo, woo. All right, final quiz question for today. Is everybody ready? Quiz question number three. True or false, you got 30 seconds, you don't even need 30 seconds for this one. You should add salt to your drinking water when you drink, if you're just tuning in right now. Okay, put your answers in now, true or false, you got a 50-50 chance. And if you're just tuning in, yes, I'm Dr. Jean, we did some face taping for the jowls today. All right, it trains you to not use these lower muscles and that helps to get that nice, tight jawline. All right. Can I take them off now? Yes, I can take them off. Okay, good. <laughs> and you do this at bedtime, and I forgot to say, you take this off in the morning, you just peel it off, and always on fresh, clean skin, and do a patch test the day before so that you know that, thank you, that, all right, one second, that you don't react to the adhesive, but I have very sensitive skin, and that adhesive doesn't bother me. Okay, did everybody get their answers in? True or false? All right, yes, everybody got their answers in? And the answer is, of course, Yes, true, true. So everybody had true? All right, congratulations. You may be our winner. Make sure you're following Team Dr. J9 on those platforms. And of course, that you're following me as well so that we can reach you if you are our lucky winner. And this is what you're playing for, the Vita Detox from our great sponsors at Vitatree. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, if you do have specific questions, please put your question in the comment section. And if you have a question that I'm not able to answer, you know, live and I can't get to you, and I apologize because you can imagine there's so much happening behind the scenes here and there's so many followers that are watching, please send an email to the team, hello at vitatree.com, and they'll be able to answer your questions, especially when questions come up about supplements and things. Please put your questions in them there. All right. Oh, what about those liquid IV? Okay, so here's a great question. I was, at, um, I was on television last week and this question came up about doing IVs of you know, different vitamins and things. I think that's what you're asking about. Yeah, I don't like those, Gracie. I don't like those because they're synthetic vitamins. So it's not you know, optimal in my perspective in terms of being able to get our nutrients in. Mother Nature you know, suggests that we get our nutrients from the way that Mother Nature created them, which is, of course, from our foods and what's available for us to ingest. So yeah, I don't like those IV kind of drip things of vitamins, but that's a great question. Barmay, thank you for the follow. It's great to have you here today. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you're going to enjoy all my content. Check out all my content. Now that you're following, you're going to see in your feed if you, you know, post a day about different natural health topics, which I know that you guys love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, Tammy's having the question about which type of salt. Stay tuned. I will be posting my salt video this week so that you will have the answer to that question. If you're just tuning in, we made our salt water. This is something it, that you can add to your water. Okay, let's see if we can get to 100 shares, everyone. Apparently, we're very close uh, on TikTok, so please, let's get to 100. How many people can share right now? Let's get over that hump. I want to get, because guess what? I mean, the team at Ta Team Dr. Jane, I'm here, has said that I'm going to start getting gifts during the shows. You guys always get gifts from when we're doing all of these fun quiz questions. What do I get? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I have so much fun when I'm here. I don't need to get gifts, but thank you for sharing. Oh, okay, Spark. Sparkly Butterfly 88. That is the best handle name. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you for sharing. Mystic Rainbow. Maybe I could get my, my um, tablet there for a second and then I can follow along and see what's happening here. Thanks for the shares, guy. We're trying to get... Okay, where is it telling me? Thank you. Oh my goodness for all the likes as well. And there's so many of you here today. Thank you for sharing. Eight. Oh, we're all... Okay, we're at 82 shares. Let's get there, guys. I want to get to 100 shares at least. 
150 would be better. I'm, I always like to aim high. It's coming, it's coming. Thank you for the share. Thank you, Shazam. Thank you for all the comments as well. It's so great to have you all here today. So if you're just tuning in, we made that salt water, which was amazing. We had our quiz questions. We also did some face taping. Anything that you, I know we're running, you know, uh, short on time, but anything you want to see really quickly, if you want to see that recipe, if you missed it, thank you for sharing. Okay, it's coming. 87. Okay, we are almost at 100 shares. So please, guys, on TikTok, I know that you can share with at least 10 people and we'll be there in like two seconds. All right. Are we almost there? We're almost there. Thanks, guys. It's so great to have you all here today. It was so amazing, you know, to be talking about. And yeah, so let's talk about this really quickly. If you did miss it, we talked a lot about detox. Okay, I need seven more shares. I think we made it. Tell me when we hit the milestone. We need to get a bell, like, you know, the old gong show? Yeah, who, who's old enough to know what the gong show was? Please put it, I mean, maybe you don't want to admit it, but if you're, if you're brave, put a one in the comments if you know what the gong show is. Um, yeah, because, yeah, we are, uh, yes, Mystic Rainbow knows, yes, oh, yeah, you know what the, yeah, okay. Elsie Castles knows what the gong show is, Carolina S. Yeah, we're aging ourselves, but I don't care. Hey, we look good because we do face taping, we do all that great thing, all those great things. If you're just tuning in, we're talking about detox, and this is one of the things that we hit it. We hit it. Yes. All right, guys. All right. We got to get a gong. I'm telling you guys, please. We got to get a gong or a bell or something. Woohoo. Yeah, we did it. Thanks, guys. All <laughs> the shares. Amazing, amazing. And yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So we did talk detox today and how your body knows about, you know, different signs and symptoms of toxicity in your body. And this is something that's really important. There's a lot of toxins in your home. So if you're just tuning in now, you can, on the different platforms, you can watch the show again. Maybe take some notes, be aware of some of the things that we talked about. So this is really important because quite likely your body's telling you that you've got that toxic load. Maybe you've got some like really nasty big poops that are really hard to pass. Sign of toxicity that can cause headaches as well. Did you know that? So that's something that I like to educate you all about. Of course, those different toxins in your home, if you're, if you're just tuning in, things like this that you may be using, maybe the aluminum foil in the kitchen. And we also talked about titanium dioxide. So this could be in your supplement. So this is something that you definitely want to be aware of. It is now banned in a lot of countries, but still allowed here where I live in North America. So this is so... Uh, so yeah, thanks guys. We meet, reached that milestone today on YouTube as well for likes. Awesome, awesome. Thank you YouTube followers and fans and subscribers. It's so great that you're all here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in every week. And if you're just tuning in here for the first time, okay, train jockey, if you're just here, I'll come to your question in just a second. And um, it's the K-tape for the face taping, which I'm going to show you. And... Yes, the tallow, the tallow um, candles are very good. So beeswax or tallow candles, very good. Amazing, amazing. Thank you. I didn't mention that one. Thank you for the follow, Sarah. Thank you. It's so great to have you. Um, psoriasis. Somebody, user queen, wants to know about psoriasis. Yeah, all the tips that we shared today in terms of that detox, really, really important. I don't know if we can pull up some lists really quickly, but this is the kinesiology tape. So this is what's great for the face taping. And if you missed it, we talked about the jowls, so keeping a nice tight jawline. And one of the things that you can do is actually tape your chin. So in three spots, thank you, you're going to tape here if you're just tuning in now. This is what we talked about, but you can reference it back with a little bit more detail of what I talked about and the muscles that we're targeting. And you're going to tape here, and I don't have my mirror, so I'm doing my best. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. And what this does is it shuts down your, oh, I did pretty good. It shuts down your musculature in the lower part of your jaw. You can even see, I don't know if you can tell the way that I'm talking, like it's really shutting this down. And by doing that, what's happening is that by relaxing the muscles, you actually help to tighten the skin on top. Yeah, it's incredible. Much like Botox, you know how Botox relaxes the muscles? They inject into the muscle to basically shut down its, its proper contraction. The same with the tape. And you do this over time. Do this at bedtime. Great for that jawline. And then there's other spots that if you missed last week, we talked about, you know, the number 11s. We, in previous episodes, we talked about the four headlines and things. We can do them for the crow's feet. That's something that we can maybe share in next week's show. If you want more on face taping, just let me know. Cellulite, yes. 
something that we have talked about. Um, Emma as well, and that's something that we've talked about in previous episodes, but we can definitely come back to cellulite anytime. It is part of detoxing as well. So doing that full body detox is really important. Okay, we've got a quick list up here. I'm gonna show you really quickly. I know some of you wanted to see this. Symptoms of toxicity. How do you know that you've got those toxins built up? Hey, we could even add cellulite to the list. That is another sign of toxicity, lack of energy, headaches, skin rashes, sore throats, gas and bloating, joint pains, cravings for sweets even, if you've got that toxic load happening. Okay, so next week, I want you to tune in. So this show happens every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Next week, we're gonna be talking about cold thermogenesis. So why that's important and how you can maximize your fat burning. Can I have Mr. Fat, well, that little fat, I don't know, we have to call it something because it's the part of the body I don't want to mention, but um, maybe you can guess what part of the body it is. But that fat that <laughs> can be here and around the abdomen. So maximizing your fat burn is something that we're going to talk about in next week's show as well as leptin resistance, coming back to that and balancing your hormones, why that's so important for that weight loss as well. And the best sleep positions. So this is something that we've sort of partially touched on in a previous week's show, but sleep position, how to maximize your sleep is something that we're gonna talk about as well, because guess what? When you're sleeping, you're burning fat. Did you know that? Yeah, so we'll talk about that all next week. So make sure you tune in next week at the same time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And one of my goals is to always empower you and give you the knowledge so that you can live your healthiest life in mind, body, and spirit. It was so great to have you all here today. Thank you for all the love. Thanks for all the shares and all the milestones that we hit as well. It was so great to have you here. We'll see you next week.